Worcester City Council will be seeing some new faces starting in January. The city's municipal election saw most incumbents reelected to their at large seats and two district seats will have new councillors. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with Worcester's election results. Brittany. Olivia, the faces new residents can look forward to are in districts one and five counselors, and also there's a new member for the Worcester School Committee, and along with all these new faces brings the most diverse council Worcester has ever seen. The election results are in, and incumbents and newly elected city officials are looking to the future. I'm just thrilled and I'm honored and I'm so thankful to these voters in the city of Worcester. It's an absolute honor to serve, you know, a, a second term. City Councilor at large Christian King strengthened his position on council, earning his spot for another two years. King was the first black male elected in the city since 1936 and first to ever serve as an at large councilor. And after Tuesday's election, Worcester City Council will be the most diverse in history. We'll have three people of color. Sean Rose, Sarai uh, Rivera, myself, um, you know, and we've had uh, last term was the most women that ever served at one time. So I, I certainly think we see it changing. Um, and I think it's related to the folks that live here. District 5 City Councilor Gary Rosen ran for an at-large position and succeeded, finishing third overall. The only incumbent not re-elected was at-large Councilor Michael Gaffney, who announced last month he wouldn't be pursuing the seat. I felt, you know, I got to do it. You know, there was strong competition and I really had to knock someone off. You can campaign very hard like I did, but you can sit at home and do no campaigning. You're on the ballot, you're a candidate. I never assumed that Mike Gaffney was anything but a candidate. Rosen says he has a lot of plans to better the city. It's a great city, but it's a dirty city. And uh, I think a lot of that is attributed to the open recycle bins. Also, I really think we need more enforcement across the city just to get people to drive more safely to slow down. King says he's focusing on crime prevention and on helping the city's youth, starting with establishing an organized sports system for middle schools. We're really focusing on trying to bring back middle school sports so kids aren't popping wheelies in the streets, um, they're not engaging in vandalism or delinquent behaviors. Secondly, um, you know, really working around police substations so there's more of a community police presence in our neighborhoods. Now, Rosen also says he hopes to get more roads approved for paving. These new officials will begin in January. Olivia. All right, Brittany, thank you for that.